Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Yeah, so good evening. I just want to, yeah discuss you know three important points number one i want to talk a little bit about my political journey then i'll talk about uh, some of the desperate moves by other politicians particularly by pf baba lungu whereby now they are bringing it uh, to um, uh, to football and then i want to end um uh, by discussing the issue of uh, this god scandal which it is in public domain a lot of us know about this now i deliberately went back to my archives to play uh, some of uh, this campaign song that we used in 2021 when i stood as um, mayor of, uh, of of lusaka and uh, i must tell you because some of you I mean, some of you just started following me recently, but those who have been following me for a long time, they know about uh, about all this. But for those that uh, are knowing Chilifatayali, you know, now, you must know that Chilifatayali, I mean, mean, means business. I am actually very, very serious because, you see, my critics and those who run some propaganda against me, they want to portray Chilufatayali as a person who is not serious, Chilufatayali as a person who doesn't have a direction, who is just uh, a nobody in politics. Um, of course, this is what uh, politics is all about. Your opponents will come up with the worst. They will say whatever they, they can uh, to bring you down. And uh, for me, I must say that... Uh, uh my opponents are actually the big political parties i actually stand in between two political parties this is a, this is a fact this is a fact you can you can you can argue it you can say whatever you want to say but the fact is that uh Chirifataya, the economic and equity party stands between two two giants we stand between two giants the the UPND on one side and the and the patriotic front on the other side we stand in between and at at different times you find that uh, we are receiving blows from from the UPND on on at other points we are receiving blows from from the from the patriotic front so much as you might think that uh, we are uh, a weak party, particularly myself as a leader. Much as you might think that uh, I am a weak political uh, player, I am actually a very strong political player because I'm one person that shakes the UPND and I bring, they, I, I, they bring out all their arsenals on me. They bring out all their arsenals. They go and carry their guns, their machine guns and everything just to deal with me. You know, the same thing with the, with the PF. You know, I shake them such that they bring all their arsenals, you know, to, to crush me. But by whatever, uh, whatever you may want to call it, or by God's grace, I'm still here. I am one of the politicians who has received battering from both sides, from the UPND and from, from, the, from the Patriotic Front. And yet, I am still here. I thank God 
Uh, I thank God that I'm still here because some of the things that I've gone through are really just big. I really thank God. Now, uh, so the point that I'm trying to make here is that don't underrate my political uh, fights. My political fights have been brutal. My political, I've survived big things, big things from both the UPND and the the patriotic uh, patriotic front and they don't they don't they, they focus on me they they don't attack me because i'm nothing they attack me because i am able to shake the political ground i'm able to shake the political ground and my challenge is, is that um, uh, i really just don't have the resources i'm able to shake the political ground because Somehow, God has gifted me with that uh, political, um, you know, ability. Eh? And so I'm, I'm able to do that, and I thank God for that. The challenge that I have, the challenges that I have are resources. If only I had resources, my political position would not be the same. My political position would not be the same. Believe you me, I would have taken on these two big political parties to a point whereby I would have successfully displaced one of them. Successfully displaced one of them. The challenge that I have are issues of resources. So those of you who doubt me, I want you to look back and say, who is this guy? Where is he coming from? What has he achieved? As much as you want to criticize me, you want to look down upon me. I want you to look at to look at the political landscape and say the truth. Who really moves things politically? You can say whatever it is. Who moves things? I move things in this country. From from my point of view, from my own ability, I'm able to move things. This social media you are watching right now, let me just say something that, uh, you know, is off. You will see how people will start running around. You can say whatever you want. Politically, I shake things. I shake things. I move things. So give me respect. Recognize my gift. Recognize me for who I am. You cannot take away that from me. You know, today at church, we are talking about talents. You know, we're talking about talents of how God has given people different talents. And frankly speaking, God has given me this talent whereby I'm able to influence things. There are a lot of people here that you respect, or who some of them who even have a lot of money, but they are not able to move people or to move things the way I do. This is a fact. There are a lot of them, uh, politics, but this one, that one, that one, that one, put them on the same platform with me. They can't stand. They can't stand. And this you have to recognize, including those who are the PND, you can't run away from it. I'm not trying to be proud. I'm not trying to be bossful. Um, I want to make some of those people you know, I'm trying to talk to those people that think that Tayali is just a joker, is is a nobody. Those are the people that I'm talking to. And I want you to know that look, I have moved things in the UPND. I have moved things in the PF. I have. I have. The only challenge is that I don't have the resources. Personally, with God's gift, I am able to move things. What I don't have are the resources. Resources to do what? Resources, number one. Some of you, you talk about, you know, why isn't your party growing? Why my party is not growing? Because politically, politics really in this country, the people that are able to commit themselves as members, most of the times are people who don't have, uh, you know, either a job, they either business, those who are working, they are, not in, they are not in politics. Those who are working, they don't actively participate in politics. 
Because once you, if you are working and then you, are, you, you become actively uh, participating in politics, you will get, you know, some reaction. It's either Kunchito, they will say, mm -mm, you know, your politics is going to cause us problems, especially if you are opposing the government. Okay, and then those who are in business, those who are in business, again, even them, they may want to do politics, but because they are in business, they can't do politics. So most of the times, the people that are left who are willing to, you know, be active in politics are those who are not working. And those who are not working, most of the times when they join you in politics, they expect you to help them in one way or the other. You know, sometimes they get stuck. You know, and they come to you, but President, please, eh, can you help me with this? But President, can you do this and that? So it becomes very, very difficult for me. If I had the resources, I would be able to sustain. I've got a number of people that have come to me before. I've got a number of people that have come to me before and they say, no, Mr. Tahari, I want to work with you, whatever, 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 whatever. I do say, okay, fine. I don't refuse. Well, please come. Let's work together. But a few days later, you find that they are stuck here, and then they call you, Mr. Tehali, and whatever, whatever. Ah, sorry, my brother, I don't have, I can't help, whatever. Next thing, they just go quiet. And I do understand. So, in terms of mobilizing a party, requires resources. Right now, I even have a budget. I even have a budget on how I can form structures. I've been wanting to form structures. I wanted that to make sure that before the end of the year, this year, I was hoping that I'll be able to have, you know, at least some executive, po executive positions filled up in all the 10 provinces. But this requires me to travel. It requires me to travel to meet people. Just for me to travel to go to whichever province, I need resources. I need fuel. I need accommodation. And as I'm going, you know, there are so many people, but president, but president, you need to be giving out here and there. Even to go and have a meeting in that province, eh? in that province, you need to hire a place where you can have that meeting. And when people come for a meeting, most of the times, out of the 10 people that come for a political party meeting, out uh, 10 people that come for a political party meeting, nine of them, they want you to give them a uh, transport refund. Most of the times, when they hear there is a political meeting, people rush to come for that political meeting. They don't rush because they want to hear what you want to say. They are looking forward to say, at least when I'll be going, maybe I'll go with a 200, maybe I'll go with a 300. Those are resources. And these are the resources that I don't have. I know some of you have been quite generous with me, and I want to thank uh, some of you who have been very supportive of me. Once in a while, you would send me a, 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 a 1,000 kwacha, a 2,000 kwacha. Some of them, they even send a 5,000 kwacha. I am, I am very grateful. I am very grateful. But unfortunately, these resources that come in intervals, they, they can't do, they can't suffice for the, for the need that I have to move my political uh, party forward. So I have, I have a genuine challenge. Much as I have the, the gift, much as I have, you know, the, you know the, 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 the political acumen, the strategies and everything, I have a genuine, genuine, genuine challenge. And this is a challenge of, you know, uh, resources. You, you require a lot of money to run a political party. But of course, others will say, but why don't you join another political party so that you are part of that political party and then later on and so on and so forth? Yeah, that, that could be one way. That could be one way. But unfortunately, my character and the way I want to do politics, I think it will be very difficult for me to belong to another political party. I can be subservient, yes, you know, just quiet there and whatever, whatever. But I don't like to operate like that. I don't like to pretend. I want to come out. I want to come out. I want to say things as they are. And that might be very difficult if I am in another political structure, you know, another political party structure, you know, which has got its different ideology. I have an ideology. I have a vision. 
I have a way that I want to see politics done, which many of you actually don't approve it. Don't approve. My, many of you, you want the politics of, no, you have not decided. You must be on one side. And what you mean by one side, you want to make sure that everything, if you are in the opposition, you want to say everything negative, even to lie, just to make sure that everything is negative, if you are against the, the, the ruling party, for example. This was there even when PF was in power. Those who were in UPND, they were saying, no, I mean, you, you, you are not decided. You know, you have to be on one side because they wanted me to attack PF through and through. They wanted me to attack PF through and through. They were only happy when I stood with them, you know. And they were even saying, no, you cannot attack your fellow opposition. Meaning I should agree with my fellow opposition regardless of whatever they are doing. But it doesn't work out like that. That is not the, the way I want to do politics. That is not the way I want to do politics. I don't want to, because I'm in opposition, I should see everything negative about the ruling party. And this I'm saying, even when PF was in power, I, I used to say the same thing. I used to say, some of you say, no, you are not consistent. I have been very consistent. Very consistent. Very, very consistent. I think I'm one of the most consistent politicians in this country. It is just that you people don't seem to understand the, the way I want to do politics. And this is why I don't want to be part of, uh, to be part of another political party because that political party, their viewpoint is that their opponents can never be right. Their opponents are demons. Their opponents, they are always wrong. But that is not the politics I want. That is not the politics I want. This is why I remain as Economic and Equity Party, putting on my yellow t-shirt because yellow is our color, is our color. So I've got that, that vision. I've got that vision and that's why I insist on remaining Economic and Equity Party. And I want to make sure that when I'm doing my politics, I focus on the issue. On this particular issue, what do I say? Eh? Is President Haka in the correct or not? On this particular issue, is PF correct or, or not? This is what I want. I want to look at the issues. I don't want to look at because it's Haka in the then it is negative. Because it's Edgar Lungu, then it's negative. No, that is not the way I operate. But for you, you want if... Uh, if, uh, if you are supporting Edgar Lungu, you want to see everything positive. You want me to say everything positive about Edgar Lungu. If I point out something negative, then I'm an enemy and I should be called all sorts of names. Which names you simply interchange. Today, the, the PF will be insulting me in this, part, in this manner. Tomorrow, it will be the UPND insulting me in, in the same manner. I want to do it differently. Now, for me to do that, I need the resources. You need, this is why I have not, basically I have explained why I am not in another political party, why I am not joining these other political parties, and why I have remained where I am as Economic and Equity Party. Now, someone will say, well, resources, you know, if you, uh, if you support this, then resources will come. Unfortunately, this is just what it is. And this is what makes me sometimes to align with either UPND or PF. UPND or PF. Because for them to support you, for them to support you, for them to help you, you must support their agenda. But my attitude is that I will not support everything, even what is wrong, in as much as I want their help. I will not support everything. I want this to be very clear. I want this to be very clear. Because particularly like now, I, I want to support by, by, by UPND. Though, I mean, that relationship is seem to be struggling. We are not really. But anyway, I'll talk about that. I'm hoping to talk about it on Tuesday. But so in as much as I may want to help President Haka in the Ichidema, I will not support everything. I will not support everything. What is wrong? I want to point out to say this is wrong. I want to say that this is wrong. On the PF. There is a lot of mess. So I can't say, no, I want to work. There, there is a lot of mess. There is, there is no PF to work with at the moment. There is no PF to work with. 
there is no PF to work with. And PF is actually going down. So it is very difficult to align with PF, even if you want to, to be with PF. It's very, very difficult because PF is destroyed. So this is why I am trying to help those who are there to see if I can help them. Though I must insist that our relationship is not like what some of you think. Because some of you are thinking, no, hey, you know, yesterday you saw me playing around with my Kia. Hey, they have given you money. No, no. No, there is no money that is coming from you, PND. There is no money that is coming from you, PND. Tomorrow you hear, no, Tyler has done this. At, no, 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 no. Forget it. Forget it. There is nothing. Our relationship is not defined. I am trying to help them. I am offering myself in a way. But as I'm offering myself, I'm not going to support everything. I'm not going to support everything. Therefore, the best way that I can survive in politics is by appealing to some of you who want to see objectivity. Some of you who want to see objectivity. If I can get people who want objectivity, people who want to hear the truth to help me, I think it will be much better. I think it will be much better. I'm telling you, if I could have genuine people that want to see the truth, that want to see objectivity, I would really be happy if I'm sponsored by those people. Because... Those will not be looking to say, no, no, uh, unless you say this, then we will give you. Uh -uh. I want those that will say, you know, speak your mind, uh, tell things as they are. Speak for the people. Eh? A lot of you like to say, no, no, you are not talking for the people. You are not talking for the people because you are UPA, because I'm not talking for, for PF. Does it mean you have a PF? It's the same thing, even by UPND, when they were in opposition. When I spoke against them or I don't support them, there you are not speaking for the people. Uh -uh. Are you the only people? Are you the only people? To these people who are politically inclined, you are only speaking for people if you agree with them. If you don't agree with them, then you are not speaking for people. Then you are hired. Then you are mouth for hire. Then you are mshani nabwadi. Then your wife whatever whatever. Then whatever whatever. All these kind of things. But surely, we can't do politics like that. We can't do politics like that. If myself, you see, I'm very reluctant to say, to accuse people to say, no, you are saying this because you have been paid and whatever. No, I'm very reluctant. And this is not only with politicians. It is also with the church, because today we are talking about the church. It is also with the church. Even this political, unfortunately, you know, it's very difficult. Even these political uh, uh, church, churches, civil society, they will support you if they are, if they are eating something. These so-called uh, men of God, men of God, they will support you if they are getting something. That's why I have so much respect for Apostle Kunda. Apostle Kunda has been standing with me. I don't give money to Apostle Kunda, but each time that I've been arrested, each time that I've been arrested, whether I'm PF, Namu PND, Apostle Kunda has always been on my side. I do, he doesn't even invite me to come to my church. But Apostle Kunda has been standing with me. Apostle Kunda, I want to, you know, uh, uh, say thank you very much. You have been there more than my so-called uh, uh, priest. Uh, I'm a Catholic, but Apostle Kunda, you have been there more than most of these so-called priests. But anyway... I don't want to complain about that. I don't want to complain about my church. Uh, I mean, I'm a Catholic and I love my church. So some of these things, I, I just put them aside. I just put them aside. I don't want, you know, uh, to create a, a certain whatever, whatever. It's my politics. It's personal. So I put my church aside. But as I'm doing that, as I'm doing that to say I put my personal whatever life, my politics away from the church, the church also should... Do, uh, should not be seen to be so political because then at the end of the day, even some of us will feel to say, yeah, you know, they, they, they value that one because that one is able to, you know, uh, come up for a fundraising dinner and offer a car. That one is able to do whatever, whatever. I think the church shouldn't be, shouldn't be like that, not just for me, but also for other political, political players. In essence, 
if I could wrap up on this one, I want to tell you, number one, to say, look, I am not just a joker in politics. I'm not just a joker in politics. And if you check, you will realize that if you talk about Zambian politics, you cannot leave out the name of Chilifa Tayadi. Whether you agree with him or you don't agree, but you cannot leave him out because I have really shaked, uh, 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 I've really shaken, you know, the political landscape in this country. When I move, things move. Some, 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 some people were thinking that, you know, the Alebo Lirapo was their agenda. They thought they can push their Alebo Lirapo agenda. The moment I pulled out Alebo Lirapo agenda, Alebo Lirapo agenda is closed. Is closed, Alebo Lirapo agenda. And it will never, it will never uh, resurrect, you know. I've done a lot of other things, you know, some of them which are which were negative, but they shook the country. They shook some of these people. Some of them they ended up taking me to court. Some of them they those who had powers they arrested me. They arrest me because I shake things. That's why they arrest me. They don't arrest me for nothing. They arrest me because I shake things. My cases are political. My cases are political. My cases are political. And yes, some of you say, no, you are supporting UPND so that, um, you know, they can let go of the cases. Frankly speaking, it is not the cases that I fear per se. Mufuikishe. It is not the cases that I fear per se because my cases are political. So they don't scare me. What scares me and what disturbs me are the legal fees. They are legal fees. What really mess me up is the legal fees. I am not a person that is scared to go to jail. Uh-uh. I'm not a criminal. So even if I'm, I go to I go to jail, people, people will read and will hear of there was a Chilifatayali who said this and he was jailed for it because I spoke about something. So I don't fear going to jail. And I don't think I can go to jail over these cases because these cases are political they are not true they are not true however what strains me which even makes me to start negotiating is the legal fees because i cannot continue representing myself our courts are so hostile for people who are representing themselves you know and sometimes some of these major states they behave as if you know as if they get a commission from the lawyers. Because when you, when you say you are representing yourself, you find that even the magistrate is so uh, hostile towards you, not encouraging you, you know, to represent yourself. Some of these magistrates, not all of them, but some of these magistrates, they really make the court environment so difficult for poor people who cannot afford lawyers to defend themselves. And it is sad. I wish, you know, magistrates would be considerate that you know being in court does not necessarily that you have you need a lawyer no sometimes you can defend yourself and some of us can defend ourselves but you find that the magistrate himself or herself is so hostile to you that you say i mean what's going on here what's going on so you need a lawyer and these lawyers they need money and this is where i have a challenge so even those of you who give me a kalut to something, you send me a two thousand, you send me a three thousand. Unfortunately, some of this money ha end end up with uh, with lawyers. Yes, even the PF, eh, the PF, I, I was with them. Really, some of the the support that I was talking about mostly is about uh, legal fees. Legal fees. Valungu, if Valungu could have helped me with legal fees, I think it would have been a bit different. Valungu was not helping me with legal fees. Yes, some of these lawyers, of course, they were representing me for free because Vaed Galungu would intervene to say, oh, please, and then this lawyer would come up. But you know, when they are not being paid also these lawyers, you can see that, you know, they can't apply themselves fully. They can't apply themselves fully. I got tired with a situation whereby I'm in court and I'm busy calling lawyers. Hey, counsel, where are you? Oh, no, I'm in court. Ah, okay. Let the matter stand down. Oh, okay. No, can we find an adjournment? I mean, I got tired. I got tired with that. And 
That is where Walungu really failed me. Walungu was not feeding me. He was not uh, buying me food to eat in my house. And somewhere there in terms of eating, you know, God looks after me. But these are the, this is where I want the support. And if I could have the support really, for example, a support whereby my legal fees are well catered for. If my legal fees are well catered for, trust me, I would be a different person. I'm not going to pretend. Uh, fr frankly speaking, if my legal fees are well, well catered for, I'll, I'll be a very different guy. You know, some of you talk about Malema. Ah, Malema. Malema is a man. Daddy, your Malema has got a very good base. A very good base, politically and financially. Politically, Ma uh, Malema was, you know, a youth leader for ANC, you know, which is the ruling party for some time. And that gave him a financial muscle. You can't compare myself and Malema in terms of finances. Malema made money. First of all, you know, when, even when they were fighting apartheid, they were receiving money. When they went into power, they were receiving money. They got money. So Malema has that financial base, which I don't have myself, which I don't have. And then the constitution there, me, I, I stood as a mayor. I got some good votes. I was number three. According to the South African constituency, a constituency, constitution, I should have been part of government. But I'm not. Malema, in spite of them, they just get 15%. Malema is in parliament. He's in parliament because his party only got 15% of the votes and is in parliament. And he gets paid. And political parties are also funded in South Africa. In Zambia, they are not. So we are very, we are at different levels. If only I had a bit of, you know, the support that Malema has, I'm telling you, I'll do much, much better. I'll do much, much better. But unfortunately, I don't have it. I don't have it. The people that give me to my, you know, little money is here, I really, really appreciate. But I need much more, much more. Just for me to move, I need at least a 50,000 kwacha. For me to move to go into another province, I need a 50,000 kwacha. If I have to go around the whole country, you know, just move in, move in. I'm not talking about meetings, what, what. I'm up transport refund. If I were to do that to, I made a budget. It is going to about 2 million, 2 million kwacha. That's what I need. If I have to organize economic and equity party, I have a budget. I'm a very systematic person, a very focused person. So I even have a budget. If somebody would say, no, no, but how much? I can tell you. We have a budget, a very, a well-tabulated budget. Well-tabulated. Everything written down. And the total budget for us to do that is about 2 million. If I got 2 million, I'm telling you, I would have a structure that you can see and appreciate as Economic and Equity Party. Unfortunately, resources are a challenge. And this is why I do what I can. I do what I can by consistently coming here 20 hours, talking to you, talking about that, talking about that, talking about that. And these days, doing whatever I can to avoid trouble. Because if I get into more trouble, I'm already in trouble. I've got legal fees that I need to sort out and whatever, whatever. It is a mess. It is a mess. So that is my situation. That is my situation. And I can only appeal to you, my brothers and sisters, especially those of you who want to see a different type of politics, a different type of politics that, you know, you consider investing in the future. These people that are there, Vaed Galungu, Nava, UPND, you know, we need a future. Who is going to take over from UPND? Who is going to take over from PF? And if we don't invest in the future, we will end up having the same people, same people. Currently, we have recycled politicians. Some of these politicians, they date as far back as, as UNIP. Some of them, they come from UNIP. And they are still in our political uh, 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 limelight. When are the new people going to come up? And these new people will not come up if you don't support political parties, young political parties like Economic and Equity Party, or like Kason de Mwenda, or like Jack Slavwe. I have got no problem myself 
you know, to see my other younger political politi my political players coming up. I've got no problem to see Jack Slavo coming up. I would be very happy. I've got no problem to see, you know, Sean Tembo coming up. I've got no problem. I've got no problem to see Kason Demwenda coming up. I've got no problem. But, you know, others I'm not going to mention. Others, come on. I'm, others, come on. When are they going to leave the stage? When are they going to leave the stage? Eh? When are they going to leave the stage? I'm not going to mention the name, but I can, I'm telling you, I can say this one. What is he doing in politics? This one, what is he doing in politics? This one, what is he doing in politics? I mean, you can have an ambition to become president, but at a certain age, you should also be able to say, ah, ah, I think he, I've had enough. I've had enough. For me, I've given myself at most 15 years. At most 15 years. If I don't manage in 15 years, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm retiring in politics and going into farming, going into uh, teaching children at school, uh, hoping to do marriage counseling, in, in, although uh, my, my, my marriage is a challenge. Anyway, so I just wanted to take a bit of time to talk about this. But you see, these, some of these guys, they must go away. Like the, the issue of Bayed Galun. Surely, whichever way you look at it, you can be desperate to see how can the Ichirema go. But I think Balungu really, Balungu, he doesn't have a place in, in politics. He just doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. To, what suits him is to be, is to be, you know, a statesman. That's what suits him. We need to go, to be going to him and consult him. Because it is, it is even becoming difficult for us to criticize Valungu. It is becoming very difficult. Imagine to be telling Valungu to say, that is nonsense. You know, you, you feel, come on, I mean, how can I say nonsense to Kuri Valungu? But you see, that is, that is politics. Politics sometimes, I mean, you have to say, come on, this is nonsense. This is not acceptable. But it is becoming difficult to criticize Valungu. You see? That is why, from my point of view, Valungu should leave the stage. He should leave the stage and allow somebody else to come in. Whatever is going on in PF is as a result of the selfishness of Valungu. Is as a result of the selfishness of Valungu. If only Valungu was not selfish, PF would have gone for a convention, they would have elected a leader, and Mao Sampa, today as we speak, Mao Sampa would have been part of PF. Mao Sampa would have been part of the PF. Because if they had gone to a convention and Mao Sampa also contested, Mao Sampa would not have had, you know, stage that, uh, that, 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 that thing that he did. He wouldn't have done that. He would have accepted it. But because Valung was still, you know, holding on to PF presidency, he delayed everything and these others could not have the courage. Could not have the courage to say, ah, this is, come on, let go of the party. They couldn't. So Valungu has created, has destroyed, destroyed the uh, PF. And those of you, especially you young people, who want to still hold on to Valungu, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. I know you would want to survive. You would want to survive and Valungu you know, might pose like somebody that can help you. But I don't think he can. Because if he didn't help me, how is he going to help you? How is he going to help you? Eh? Ututu ndalama tuwako wa jiwa kupela leoka one pin, mairo wa kupela ka two pin. They are not sustainable. They are not sustainable. They are not sustainable. Eh? Ka one pin yaka kupa chikale isa. After such a long time. Eh? After such a long time, everybody has a one pin. Meanwhile, pang and the family of it, but if you have, you have, you have even gotten debt and whatever, whatever. They are not sustainable. So, be very careful, especially you young people that want to surround yourselves again uh, around Edgar Chagwalungu. But Valungu, in his fight, in his fight, Valungu, in his fight to hold on to power, let him also not do certain things that are too desperate. Some of these things like, you know, lying to say, a Valungu now watch ticket. Edgar Lungu has bought all the tickets for the, for the football team. 
Those are dangerous lies. Fiabu fi fi ya mulebe pobu fi kovati balungu balista ma ticket. Fiabu fi. Stop lying. Eh? Stop lying. Balungu balista ma ticket. Which tickets did balungu buy? Where did he buy those tickets? Where? Where did he buy those tickets? Where did he buy those tickets? How many tickets did Walungu buy? But because of your desperation, you started, you know, throwing on social media. Hey, Walungu na mashita ma ticket yos. Walungu na mashita ma ticket yos. And it affected Faz. It affected Faz. What you did was nonsense because you made some people not to go and buy tickets, thinking that I'm a ticket si na yashita na mashita yos Walungu. That's what you made it. You made it look like. And you don't want me to talk about that. And when I talk about that, no, while you're part of Do you think that is good? Even if in your PF, let's just be reasonable. Do you think it was good for whoever is in the team, Katushinga Nivalungu, whoever? But the Lungu team, let me just say the Lungu team. Do you think it is okay for them to come out and lie to the general public that Valungu Navashama ticket yonse? Do you think that is okay? Eh? Let's just be reasonable. Somebody will change it. No, you are a big fool. How am I big, a big fool? You don't want me to talk about such kind of things. Me, I'm a patriotic citizen. I didn't buy a ticket to go and watch the game. And I don't, I don't think I wanted to buy a ticket. But the thing is that I'm a patriotic citizen. If those seats are filled up, it will advance our our football it will advance our football people will be paid uh, whatever whatever but because of your desperate polit political antics you lie to say balungu na bashita ma tickets yonse muri babu fi bufi bulia you are liars balungu never bought tickets where did he buy the tickets how many did he buy how many did he buy you caused fuzz to lose some money because I'm sure a few people didn't go to buy the tickets thinking that Balungu na washitama tickets yons. Then number two, there were people that when they saw that, they started thinking to say, ah, ah, ika wafe ni political radical. They will be PF cadres. And no, the way they know you are PF cadre, muliwalu would. They even, some of them might, might have even gotten scared to, to buy the tickets. Eh, to come to the stadium thinking that Balasanga Koba political card. And it is a fact because the police had to issue a statement. Why did the police issue a statement? They issued that statement because even in their mind, they also thought now this is going to be a political ride. But surely, Kubola, that is where we go without looking at which political party we belong to. But when you bring in such politics, you, you, you pollute the environment. You mess up the situation. So that should not be done. If we can wake up, mufireke. Mufireke. It's different when you are a lungu bad president, when you are a Republican president. As a Republican president, you are not supposed to be identified as a PF or UPND. So when you are a lungu bad power, you used to do that. You are a Republican president. Though sometimes you are not paying for the tickets. Eh? This is why you even created problems with the, with the, uh, with Kamang, eh? because you are getting ama ticket, you are free. You get ama books, you distribute, you you give your cadres, you go and watch a match, and you say a PF has bought tickets. You are getting free tickets. But when Kamanga came in, that's why I like Kamanga because Kamanga is accountable. Kamanga is systematic. He brought in tickets to be sold through compute ticket, which is an agent. So for them, compute tickets, whatever, whatever, for them, they sell the tickets. They want to the numbers to be uh, in correlation with the money. And that's what I liked about, uh, about Kamanga when Kamanga came in and introduced this. Now, so at that point, you are a Republican president. Even now, Haka in the Ichirima. If Haka in the Ichirima bought tickets and gave to people, I would not come here and talk because he's a Republican president. Unless, if also he buys tickets and he says, I'm buy, I bought tickets only for you, PND, then it is a problem. Then it is a problem. If he, as a Republican president, buys tickets and he says, I'm only giving to you, PND, 
then it is a problem. Because as a Republican president, he should not be so, uh, yes, he's UPND, but he should not be so clear to be UPND. If he buys tickets, he should give tickets to everyone. That's how it should be. And I would have no issue. No, Baba Lungu, Niva opposition, Balungu Teva, Teva Republican president, Niva president, Teva PF. So when he buys ticket like that, you can't say, no, he's buying for everyone, to give everyone. No. You would definitely assume he's buying these tickets to give to his political cadres. And that is wrong. So, to a papata, don't bring politics to football. Don't bring politics to football. These desperate moves that you are putting up, they are not good. So these political, these desperate moves, they are not good. They are not good. And then they feel that, yo, hey, who in Gisha, Peter, hey, da, Sakala, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then you say Eastern province. I mean, it's true. I mean, those people may be coming from the Eastern province. But when you are a person who is significant, you cannot be bringing that. Because then you become tribal. When we are positioning ourselves as political leaders, we don't position ourselves as, you know, coming from a certain region. I am a political party leader. And as a political party leader, I should not be seen to be leaning to one side. I should not be seen to be talking about, you no know, Bembas, no uh, Tongas, no, uh, no, no, no. I shouldn't be seen like that. If you are going to be coming out like that, posting what was posted on Balungu's page, because you can't lie. To say, uh, no, Teva Lungu, that ECL legacy, that is the formal page of Edgar Lungu, except that he doesn't have the courage to just put there Edgar Lungu. He doesn't have the courage. But that is, I mean, I even know the people that, are, that run that page. So you cannot argue with me. So those are not things that you're supposed to be posting, you know, from the East, from the East. You, you are from the East. And you're a political leader. You are bringing division in the country. So, this is my opinion. This is what I think. Number one, because you lied, it is not good to lie. Number two, out of your lies, you inconvenienced Faz. Faz might have lost, you know, money uh, as a result of those lies. Number three, some people may have not gone because of fearing to say, Kulewawa PF Kada. Kulewawa PF Kada. And they might have not, uh, uh, not gone there. Number four, you are being tribal. You are promoting tribalism. When you post like that to say, these from the East, they are the ones who have scored. No, I mean, that's nonsense. That's nonsense. Imagine the players, some of the players who are coming from the Northern, who are playing there. How did they feel when you posted, oh, the East, Eh? Those from the East have scored. Just from the from the players, think of it. From the players themselves, because not all of them are from the East. Not all of them from, are from the East. So those, when they saw that, uh, you know, you are praising those from the East, how do you think they felt? So this is not, this is not right. This is not right. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.